Hello, boys and girls. We're going to be reading The Pet Club. And this is Day 4, Lesson 8. And we're reading it in the Decodable Reader book for Unit 2. So, I'm going to read it to you first. I've never been part of a pet club, but I have had pets. And I've had pets in the classroom. I've had goldfish in the classroom. I used to have four parakeets in the classroom. That was a bad idea. They weren't parrots, they were parakeets, but they were super loud. My kids would be talking and they'd be squawking. And finally I just had to give them away to somebody who could take care of them at their house. So, the pet club. Let's read this story. It looks like the characters, at least many of them, are going to be pets. It says, oh look, there's one of our sight words. It says, would. Would you like to see pets? Come to the pet club. This boy's name is Dom. He's another character in this story. Dom has a pet. His pet is Ham. You get it? Ham, like Ham the hamster. Ham can flip. Ham can flop. All right. What, I wonder what this character's name is. Oh, Rose. Rose has a pet cat. Her pet is Glenn. Glenn can kick. So it looks like he's kicking at that little yo-yo or little ball on a string that she has. This word right here, I've heard it pronounced rose and rose. So whichever way you say it is okay. But this word Glenn with two N's, remember it only says one sound. N mm, Glenn. We don't say Glenn. Mm -hmm. It's a double final consonant. Okay, I wonder what this character's name is. Let's see, Todd, and there's another double final consonant. Remember, we only say one sound for it, duh. We don't say Todd, duh, duh. We say Todd, duh, Todd. Okay, so his name is Todd. Todd has a pet dog. His pet is Slim. Slim can run. Slim can sit. So all of these animals have different things that they do well. He flips and flops. He kicks the ball. He sits and runs when you tell him to. How about her? I wonder what her name is. Anne. And look, it has two N's. That means it's a double final consonant because it's at the end. There's two letters, but we only say one sound. Mm, Anne. Anne. Anne has a pet. Her pet is Bluff. Bluff can clack. Bluff can flap. So I think clack is like the sounds they make. And flap is what they do with their wings. And remember it's bluff and not bluff because that's a double final consonant. Oh look, he has a pet also. I wonder what happened to his legs. I wonder why he can't walk. I wonder why he has to be in his wheelchair. Nick has a pet. His pet is Plum. Plum will not flip, flop, and clack. Plum will not play, but Plum will kiss. Oh, it's a kissing fish. The reason they call kissing fish kissing fish is because their lips are puckered and it looks like they want to kiss you, but they don't really want to kiss you. <coughs> but they can pretend. Okay, we're going to read this with all the different characters. We learned all the characters' names when we were reading this. So I will read it, then you will read it. Okay, ready? Remember, 
If you practice, you get better and you learn how to read. But if you don't look at the words and you don't track them and you don't even try, you're not fooling anybody. Like, like if you pretend to practice, but you're really not. The only one, you're not going to benefit from that. So it's the kids who really try, who listen to the teacher and who track the words. You should be tracking the words on your screen. Okay, ready? Read. No, I'm going to read, and you're going to read after me. The Pet Club. Would you like to see pets? Come to the pet club. Now, if you're just mimicking me like a parrot and not looking at the words and not tracking, it's not going to help you. So be sure to look at the words and track them with your finger. Dom has a pet. His pet is Ham. Ham can flip. Ham can flop. Rose has a pet cat. Her pet is Glenn. Glenn can kick. What am I doing? I think I just made a mistake. You have to read this page. And I, you probably didn't get to read this page either. So let's just read this page. Todd has a pet dog. His pet is Slim. Slim can run. Slim can sit. Anne has a pet. Her pet is Bluff. Bluff can clack. Bluff can flap. Oh, now we're on the page with Nick and Plum. <clears throat> right there. Nick has a pet. His pet is Plum. Plum will not flip, flop, and clack. Plum will not play, but Plum will kiss. Okay, so I like that story. This is like a realistic fiction story. Maybe it could happen. Maybe there could be all these, these characters with those particular names, but the author did just make it up. So it's realistic fiction. Okay, I hope that you um, practice reading that well, and if you need more practice, you can go back and toodaloo.